Is everybody alive? Everybody managed to no voice. Not, not voice. quite. No voice. <laughs> ah, we've got one casualty. Um, yeah. So last day. Yeah. Everybody ready to go home and no. No. go? No. no? Is it sad? Yeah. Have you guys been stuck in here most of the weekend though, or have you got to like walk around? Yes. Really? Yeah. Let's get out on the floor. I wish yes, I could do that. We're do that after this. Yeah, good. All right. Um, and then go to Nerd HQ. And the Nerd HQ, of course. So, so Mary's back and... Apparently. And, and she's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she hasn't aged a bit. I don't understand how they... Do. Yeah, Movie Dean's, magic. Yeah, Dean is older than his mom now. And yeah. You guys are... How is that going to work out? <laughs> That's a great question. Um... <laughs> It's uh, it's gonna be it, well, it's gonna be an adjustment certainly from Dean's perspective, but especially from Mary's perspective, because she's now in a world that is completely foreign to her, which is you know modern technology, um, cell phone. What's that? <laughs> the internet. What's that? So um, you know, so it, it was kind of. I was reading. I was like, oh yeah, we've really made a lot of <laughs> a, a, a lot of, of of headway in like. Technology, technology and, and everything over the past 30 years. So um, is Dean going to hook her up with Snapchat? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Come on, Mom, you got to get on Instagram. What are you doing? Um, keep her away from busty Asian people. Yeah. <laughs> they're, all, not. they're all hidden. Um, it, uh, it, it, I think for, so she, she's going to be dealing with that. She also has to deal with the fact that she's now learning that her, her grown-up sons are living and have been living the life of hunters since the day she died, which is the life that she so desperately tried to protect them from. And I think that's that's going to be difficult for her to, to really accept. Um, and as far as Dean, you know, he's, even though he's excited about the idea, I think, of mom being back, there's, there's a vulnerability that is going to come along with that from Dean because now she's essentially a liability. Um, you know, somebody takes mom and tortures her, well, that's one surefire way to get Dean to do whatever they want. It's one more person to protect. Exactly. It's one more person to protect and one more person to probably have to sacrifice himself for. Is there also a challenge for Dean in dealing with Mary as a person, not Mary as the memory? Of course, yeah. I, you know, this is a stranger to him, and he's a stranger to her. And so trying to understand not only you know, who she is as an adult, um, but who she was before, you know, before Dean was born. Um, you know, she did she did live the life of a hunter. And she she was in that world, and she, there is a there is a skill set that she uh, that she possesses that will that that is not what Dean knew. Um, and so I think I think that whole relationship is going to be really interesting because there there are some you know. There's a lot of emotion, I think, that's going to come along with that. So it'll be interesting, and I think that from what Andrew and Bob have said, that they're going to they're going to really kind of uh, go down that road of of tapping into the emotional vulnerability that that having mom back brings to Dean and, and Sam. How does uh, how does mom coming back affect Dean's relationship with Sam? Sam never Sam was a baby; he didn't really know mom. Well, Dean didn't either. I mean, his memories of her, yeah, his memories of her are, you know, shoddy. Uh, so the fact that, you know, he's a, he's adjusting, he's probably going to have to, you know, Sam's going to have to adjust the same as well. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be some interesting sidebar conversations, I think, between the brothers about what do they do with mom? Um, and, of course, mom is, she's, you know, this isn't her home. This isn't. These aren't the sons that she knew. These aren't. Uh, you know. This is. This is a completely different world, and it's not something that she's familiar with. And it's probably something that she's going to have to really have a. It's something that she's going to have a really difficult time navigating. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we'll we'll see. I mean, I've only I've only read I think the first three or four scripts, um, and it's still dealing with that kind of like. Because there's also some other things going on too. Lucifer's running around. We got the the new Men of Letters chapter that's coming down hard on us, saying basically like, that's not the way we do things, and and we might not let you guys continue doing anything anymore. Yes. So. How is the interaction with the new Men of Letters, especially with Sam being shot at? Well, I think once he finds out who they are, 
and then seeing what they've done to his brother, it's not going to be good. <laughs> I think you guys. Your break Thanks, Jen. A little bit. I am. Yeah. 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 I wanted to spend a little bit more time at home, at home with the, uh, with my girls this year. So. Yeah. yeah.